Hello everyone, I have come your way today and um, today we're going to talk about something very, very important that a lot of people keep thinking and talking about it. And my big question for the day is that should a girl worry about not getting married? That's what we are going to talk about today. Should a girl worry? Um, about not getting married is a very big question that today I want to put across for us to deliberate on and then um, share some views and um, feel free and make sure that you subscribe to my channel um, you like the video and of course you share the video for your friends and families to also have the opportunity to um, enjoy this kind of education that we're putting across on my channel so if you are watching me right now make sure that you subscribe you hit the subscribe button and then um, you hit the bell button the notification button so that anytime I come on uh, online and um, I upload videos um, you have the opportunity to uh, be one of the first people to watch my video so the big question I'm asking this morning is that should a girl worry not getting married and this has been a very big question that most um, people keep asking and most women are so 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 worried because they are not getting married and marriage had become a problem for them now it is normal for um, a latter day saint girl who knows that marriage and motherhood are ordained of god and that the family unites may continue throughout eternity to look hopefully towards a happy marriage in life but the big question i'm asking this morning once again is that should a girl get worried about marriage sometimes um with what i'm going to talk about today is a yes and it's a no now ladies should however keep in mind that marriage age pattern differs widely from country to country and i repeat ladies should know and keep in mind that marriage age patterns differed widely from country to country and culture to culture. So um, when it comes to um, growing age or age for marriage, um, normally there is not a fixed age that one should expect that when I get to this age, I need to get married. But the point is that it differs from country to country, um, from ethnic groups from various um, people from uh, religious backgrounds it depends some will prefer that their ladies will get married very very early from age 16 17 18 19 20 some will also prefer that their ladies or their women must marry around the age of 30 years so today i'm going to dive deep deep into it and you know one thing is that most women are not married today because of their own character and some of the attitude they put in growing up as young children so i'm going to touch on it very very well today so make sure you drop your comments i'll be coming up with subsequent videos that um we can all share ideas and come up with now girls at the age of 18 to 24 always attract men if you check very well and if you are a woman if you're a lady watching me right now, you will get to know and understand that at the age of 18 to 24, you get to attract serious men. Yeah, you get to attract serious men. A lot of people come your way and most of these people that will come your way are people who are serious. They don't come your way just to uh, flirt around with you, but people will come your way because they are serious and they want to get married to you. So ladies at the age of 18 to 24 always attract serious men uh, who are fully ready to get married. So ladies who are between the ages of 18 to 24 will attract serious men who are ready not just ready but people who are fully ready to marry them but at this age most of our girls and our sisters never wish to hear anything about marriage when ladies are around 18 to 24 they hate to hear anything about marriage 
why is it so now i have five bulletin points that i'm going to touch on right now that why is it so why is it that when ladies are around um 18 when they get to 18 to 24 and men who are serious come their way they at the end of the day they decide that no i don't want to be with this man no i don't want to be with this man no i'm not ready for marriage so what are some of the excuses our ladies normally give when men approach them and tell them that hey i want to marry you the first thing i'm going to talk about is that ladies will tell you that i am not uh, i'm too young for that most ladies not all ladies but between the ages of 18 to 24 especially ladies in africa you approach them as a man and they will tell you that no i'm too young for that i'm too young for marriage i don't think i can marry you i don't think i'm ready to get married to you so this issue becomes a problem and they begin to shun away from guys when guys and men who are serious to propose to them all that ladies keep telling them is that i am too young for marriage so at the end of the day this serious men who are ready mm, who are ready those who are ready seriously ready to get married to some of these ladies at the end of the day uh, they back off and then they find some place to hide themselves because Charlie, what happens the second thing i'm going to talk about is that they come up with some flimsy excuses i mean the lady some of them the reason why i've told you that from age 18 to 24 they get men who are seriously and ready to get married to them but um, um they will tell you give you some excuses and I'm, i keep mentioning them i said that ladies will tell you that i'm too young for that mm, what is marriage marriage is for older people and then the second point is that they will ask you who cares about marriage they will tell you that at this stage i don't think i'm thinking about marriage or marriage is not my thing i'm not thinking about getting married now so they at the end of the day they shown most of the men that comes their way now the third thing i want to talk about is that ladies will always tell you that i am concentrating on my books i repeat ladies will tell you that i am concentrating on my books my focus right now is not on marriage but my focus now is on my books so at the end of the day ladies will shun men who comes their way and they will tell you that i'm focusing on my books i'm not ready for any marriage so you will talk later and then at the end of the day they keep shunning the men that keeps coming on their way so ladies refusing men's proposal because they will tell you that they are focusing on their books the next thing i would want to talk about is that um ladies will once again tell the man who is fully ready for the marriage they will be bold enough to tell the man that hey mr man do you know what currently i want to gather some money first that is what they will tell you currently i want to gather some money first so um to hell with your uh, proposal and they will at the end of the day be moving rounds here and there and tell the men that i want to gather some money before i decide to get married now the big question is that at age 18 to 24 and if you are in africa currently or basically um it's likely that you'll be with the family you'll be with your mom your dad and currently in africa the way situations are it is likely that maybe you are not working and you depend on your parents and guardians so most of them will tell you i want to gather some money first before I, I i i decide to get married so these are some of the things that um ladies um will keep telling men who comes their way now the second or the fifth one or fifth point i want to touch on is that ladies will tell men who comes their way who are fully prepared to marry them they will tell them that marriage is full of problems marriage is full of problems 
yes i agree with you that yes marriage is full of problems you are going to go through problems definitely um different people coming from different backgrounds meeting definitely you are going to go through problems but then um, problems are meant for every situation in life so when problems comes your way you need to um, be yourself stand very firm and see how best you'll be able to overcome that kind of problem so at the end of the day they tell them that marriage is full of problems because they think that marriage is full of problems then they will shun some of these men that comes their way the next thing i want to touch on is that these are some of the few statements that ladies make so i've made about five of them now um, the first one was that i'm too young for that who cares about marriage? I'm focused on my books. I want to gather some marriage manifest. And then the fifth one is that marriage is full of problems. So these are some of the few statements that ladies talk at their youthful age. But you know, um, these girls will be having serious and series of sex relationships with boys of their age. I repeat, girls or ladies who will come up and say that um, I'm too young to be in a relationship or I'm too young for marriage uh, who cares about marriage I'm focused on my books I want to gather some money first I, uh, marriage is full of problems you will get to know that these ladies are having serious and series of sex relationships with small boys of their age why is it so? Because at that age, they always want to have high rates of boys around them. And guys and men are coming for them because guys and men are rushing them. I've told you that at the age of 18 to 24, girls always get people proposing to them. So when the serious one that wants to get married to them, then they begin to turn them away because a lot of them are coming their way. Men are coming, the guys are proposing. And some of them will be having serious and serious sex relationship with small boys of their age because um, they, want to, they want to have fun. They prefer to choose those boys rather than the real men who want to marry them. They are still young to marry that's what they keep saying i'm still young i'm still young i'm still young i'm still young but they are still young to marry right but they are not young to have sex with boys ladies will tell you that i'm st i'm still young to get married but they are not young to have sex mm -hmm. no problem god is watching everybody so at age 25 to 27 parents of this ladies will begin to ask questions when ladies get to the age that parents are not seeing them coming home with um, any man they are not introducing anybody to them what happens is that parents will begin to ask questions now what are some of the questions that parents will ask their uh, children especially or the ladies some of the questions that parents will ask is that how far a parent will ask how far and how far means that how far with life how is life treating you are you seeing somebody or you are still searching how far now how far question is one question that most ladies don't want to even hear parents ask them so parents will definitely ask them how far the next question that parents will ask will be that, Hey, um, my daughter, um, I want to ask you this question. You know, don't you have anyone yet? And most ladies hate to um, hear some of these things when parents ask them that, Don't you have anyone yet? It is a question that most of our ladies don't want to even hear. Don't you have anyone yet? So at this time, parents will begin to ask their, 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 their young girls and their girls who are at age 25 to 27. They will begin to ask them that, are you not having anyone yet? The next thing is that they will ask you, 
are you not planning for marriage? And mind you, when some of these questions keep popping up and coming up, it becomes a very big issue for um, the young ladies. When parents begin to ask, are you not planning to get married? It becomes a problem for most ladies. And most ladies keep thinking, 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 thinking. This brings them to sometimes when they get to this age, 25 and 27, and they are not seeing anybody and they don't have any man in their life. Women begin to think and think and think and think because why? What is happening? Because pressure from parents, pressure from peers keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. So they end up asking themselves a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. They ask themselves a lot of questions because the men are not coming. The time the men came, these women or these ladies turned them down. When the serious ones came, they, they started turning them off. So um, the point four is that are you, see, are, are you seeing that all your mates are getting married? Are you not seeing? So parents will tell you, are you not seeing that all your friends are getting married? It brings the woman to think and think and think and think and think. And sometimes it gets serious and it gets worse. So um, we need to check some of these things. Sometimes it gets very, very serious that the ladies begin to think, think, think. They always want to be left alone. Now, another thing I want to touch on is um, the parents will once again ask, don't you know you are getting old? Don't you know you are getting old? When a parent begins to ask some of these things, don't you know you are getting old? Most of these ladies begin to think and then they begin to overwork themselves. And sometimes when they are lonely in a room, they begin to think, they think, they think, they think. And it doesn't help. Health-wise, it doesn't help at all. So when parents begin to tell them that, don't you know you are getting old? Um, the ladies and the uh, girls begin to think who are between 25 to 26. They begin to think and the thinking becomes so serious that sometimes depression also sets in and it becomes worse, 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 worse. So we're urging all parents that when they get to some of this stage, um, parents need to uh, be careful about some of the statements um, they make. Now, Another thing we need to know is that, but be, uh, you know, um, parents only see the outside of their daughters, not knowing there is nothing left inside them. Parents, when their daughters get to this stage, they only see the outside of their daughters, not knowing there is nothing left inside them. Because most parents, when their daughters get to this stage, what they normally do is that um, they see their daughters, you are so pretty, pretty, you are so beautiful, you are looking so good. So why are the men not coming? What is happening? And some even think that their daughters are virgins, but they don't know that during their prime time, between the ages of 18 to 24, some of these ladies were flirting and having serious and series of sex relationship with some small boys of their age. Parents even are not aware that some serious men came their way. But um, another topic will come up uh, maybe after this one because some parents will also um, not allow their um, daughters to marry at the age of 18 where uh, men are rushing them. Now, with all these questions by uh, parents, the lady will start thinking and asking herself things. Um, so many questions. When a lady gets to this point and parents and friends and peers begin to ask those questions, they begin to ask themselves things that doesn't mean I'm old enough to marry. This is one question that the ladies will keep asking themselves. Does it mean I'm old enough to marry? This is a question they will ask. Does it mean I'm old enough to marry? And the answer 
is pretty simple. Yes, you are old enough to marry. Because um, as a woman and as a lady, um, there are a lot of health um, implication that comes women's way when they get to um, above 35, getting to 40, menopause. And sometimes women who don't marry early um, find it difficult to have children. So it is advisable that women get married very early. So they begin to ask um, this question that um, does it mean that I'm old enough to marry? And the answer is simply yes you are old enough to marry because where you have gotten to you are old enough but mind you and let's bear in mind that marriage is for matured people so yes some people are matured they get to that age that men come and they want to marry them and they begin to shun the men and they don't want to have anything to do with the men now the second thing they will be asking is that hmm should i go how should i go about it the women will ask, how should I go about it? It becomes a very big problem for them. And sometimes it becomes so difficult to share some of these things with the parents. If you are a parent and you are not close to your girl, you are not close to your daughter, it becomes a very big, big, big problem for you because your girl will be quiet at home sometimes eating becomes a problem it will be very difficult for them to eat when you ask them or when food is ready when dinner is ready when breakfast is ready normally they don't want to even be by parents because they want to be left alone why would they want to be left alone? They want everybody to finish eating um, a dining before they go to the table to do their own thing because they know definitely that the question will come up. Now, another thing is that my boyfriends are not serious about asking my hand in marriage. When they get to this point and they keep asking themselves questions, one thing that comes out is that they will go like, my boyfriends are not seriously asking my hand in, in marriage. So, at this time, the girls and the ladies begin to blame on boys they are dating. Because at this time, the girl, the guys or the young men who comes your way, are most of them are not ready for marriage, you see, because you've gotten to an age. Because I've told you that women get to a point where they are ripe for marriage and they be, become very attractive. So when you're a woman and you get somebody who is serious and um, the person meets your criteria... At that time, you need to grab and gather that experience. So at that time, uh, when they get to the 27, getting to 30 years, that is when uh, they will be in a relationship anyway. But what happens is that those they be in relationships are not ready to get married to them. So they begin to ask so, 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 so many questions that, ah, why is my boyfriend not serious about asking my hand in marriage? So the guys they date are normally not serious and they don't want to even go and ask their hand in marriage. Now, the fourth point I want to touch on and it's um, something that is dear to my heart. Some of the questions that ladies will ask when they get to this stage and depression sets in. They will ask that, ah, but uh, they are not even ready to marry yet. So they will get to know and realize and be thinking for themselves that, ah, even this young man I'm dating is not even ready to marry yet. So these are some of the questions that keeps coming and they keep thinking, 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 and it doesn't add anything um, or it doesn't add anything. It doesn't add up. It doesn't bring anything beneficial to them. So they will go like, ah, my boyfriend is even, or the one I'm dating, the guy I'm dating is not even ready for marriage. So it becomes another big problem for the ladies who are in relationship at the age of um, the 25, 26, getting to um, 30. Now, Another big question and a big thing they keep thinking, something they keep thinking um, is that, well, God knows best. I believe God. It is one thing that ladies will always say when they get to this age and the men are not coming forth. They'll go like, okay, hmm, if the men are not coming, um, God works in mysterious ways. 
So let me wait upon God. Yes, I believe in waiting upon God. I believe in God. I believe that we can wait upon God. But you see, um, there is a saying, it is not in the Bible, but there is a saying that heaven helps those who help themselves. So these ladies will go like, well, God knows uh, the best. I believe in God. So yes, it's good to believe in God, but make sure you grab every opportunity that comes your way as a woman. Grab opportunities that comes your way. Think thoroughly about it. Look at it very well. There are some serious people that will come your way. Even when ladies get to 24, 25, 26 years, some of them get to know guys or men who are serious and want to marry them. But these um, ladies will turn them off. But see you. Um, now, the lady has started putting the blame on God. Because making a statement that, well, God knows best. I believe in God. It means that if that lady is not married, then the lady will turn and blame God that God um, God has not given me a husband. Meanwhile, a lot of them have come your way and you have said no to them. So she starts and begins to put blame on God. Saying God's time is the best. Okay, I agree for that argument. Say now at age 27 to 30, they now start looking for men to marry, not boys to have sex and play with them again. This is a serious point I want to talk about. When a lady is um between 27 to 30 years, they begin looking for serious relationship that will lead to marriage. This time around, they start looking for men to marry, not boys to have sex with them and play with them again. Meanwhile, they have series of sex with those boys at their prime and their peak age. Now, they get to 27 20, uh, to 30 years, they begin to look for serious men. Everybody wants to deal with someone who is serious. If you are not serious, nobody will want to deal with you. Now, they start looking for serious relationship that will lead to marriage. So it becomes very, very difficult. You come to Africa and a lot of ladies will dress up nicely, go to pubs, go to um, clubs, go to parties, places that men will be so that they'll be attracted to men. So when they get to this age, um, they, 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 they are looking for serious relationship that will lead to marriage. But unfortunately, this age of 27 to 30, not all men will be asking their hand in marriage. When ladies get to the age of 27 mm, to 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, we need to note that not all men will be asking their hand in marriage. Now, you will see them forcing themselves to marry a man who don't want to marry them. Please, we beg you, leave us alone. Because you see, when they get to this age and the marriage is not coming and pressure from family, from friends keep coming, they will begin to force themselves to marry a man who don't want to even marry them. Some women will go on and go ahead as far as financing marriage for men. And at the end of the day, those marriages don't work. Hmm? Now, imagine buying a rotten tomatoes for $10. And your friend buys a fresh one for seven dollars. Yes, that is how it feels like in marriage too. When you have a friend, he buys a, a rotten tomato for ten dollars, and another one buys a fresh one for seven dollars. Yes, so that is how it feels like. I'm not saying that those ladies or those women are rotten, but um, it's just a scenario that I'm just putting across. No, so now remember, you rejected men because you think you were too young. So, you have rejected a lot of men because most of these ladies think that they are too young. So, they rejected a lot of men. So, ladies ought to bear in mind that they have rejected a lot of men because they thought they were too young. What makes you think that your old age does not matter to us again? Men will consider the age of every woman. This woman was so young, men kept coming. And the woman said, no, I'm too young. Oh, no, 
I'm too young. I'm too young. I'm too young. Now you get to your 28, 29, 31, and you think that age does not matter to men. No, age matters a lot to men. That is why some men go back to their villages to find young girls to marry. There are a lot of men in Africa that they will, when they get to a point where they want to marry because they've been through a lot of disappointment and ladies keep turning them down because those ladies think that they have uh, a lot of men proposing to them and they keep breaking the hearts of a lot of men most of these men who are seriously looking for wife will go back to the villages to find young girls to marry when the city ones are not serious about marriages so when the city the people living in big towns and cities are not ready uh, who wants to marry them because they propose to them when they were young, when they were very attractive, but because these young ladies were flirting, um, they don't get them. So the men will go um, back to villages and find young girls to marry um, when the city ones are not serious about marriage. And those that are serious happen to be old. So now the men will realize that um, there is this lady or there is this woman who is ready for marriage, but this woman, the woman is old. So age matters to men. A man will marry you. With your age now at age 30 to 35 hmm, the friends will also come in i think i, I talked about um, 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 um how um, um people or how um your parents or how the parents of the woman will come in to ask questions so many many questions and then the next thing is that friends will also come in now you hear something like this um uh, at age 30 to 35 friends will ask her why are you not married yet by this age of yours so you realize that around this age most of the of the ladies or the the, the ladies um uh, friends and um peers will be marrying and some of them will ask her, why are you not married at your age is it not getting too late for you this question will break them if you should ask them is it not getting too late for you it will break them now they have uh, answers to that they will ask if you ask them <laughs> this question uh, 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 if peers and friends begin to ask them that are you not married yet at your age is it not getting too late then uh, they have some questions or some answers to those um silly questions uh, that um excuse my language silly questions that friends ask them they'll ask their friends are you god or do you want to marry me these are some of the questions uh, the answers they give to those questions they'll ask you one are you god or do you want to marry me another thing is that is it a crime to be single at age 30 or 35 so they keep asking this question did i see a man willing to marry me but i refuse these are some of the things they will say then they will go like god knows best for everyone please that is what they will tell um the men that will come their way so it becomes so 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 difficult and um sometimes and uh, when friends ask them these questions these are some of the answers that they give to friends so at a 30 to 35 they will start praying like never before here in africa when a lady is between 30 to 35 they start praying as never before yes i mean as never before when a lady is between 30 and 35 and the lady is still single and friends and family begin to ask questions like this now they begin to start praying like never before they move from one church to the other if she is a muslim she will start praying night prayers fasting and dressing modestly and if the person is a christian you know some people will go around they are christians and the way they dress doesn't attract men when they get to the age of 30 to 35 that is when you see them praying and in africa in ghana in most of african countries you see a lot of women going to prayer meetings going to churches going to see prophets going to see um juju and um native doctors to help them to be able to uh, get 
married. So if you ask her for dating, she will best out to say. Now, when they get to age 30, 35, 36, 37, and the marriage is not forthcoming, and you approach them, and you tell them you want to marry them, trust me, my brother, they will best out to say, my brother, I'm not, I'm not like them. Listen, oh, my brother, I'm not like them. She wants to prove a point and tell you that she is not like other people. She's been able to keep herself very well to this age. So if you go and you tell them, oh, um, young lady, I want to marry you. They will burst out and tell you that, hey, my brother, I'm not like them. The second thing they is likely they will tell you that I'm looking for a serious man. A serious man. A husband, not dating. They will tell you I'm looking for a serious man. A husband, not dating. So at this point, age 30 to 35, no woman would want to um, go into dating. And no woman would want to spend a lot of time dating a, a man. Or a guy because they feel they've been through dating and they know the in, uh, intricacies of um, dating so nobody want to um, 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 go dating so they'll tell you me I'm ready for marriage also if you think you are coming to play with me please stay off now if you truly love me another thing they will say tell you that if you truly love me go and see my parents for marriage my sister they will tell you that if you seriously want to marry me Go and see my parents for marriage. And I keep asking this question. When people started proposing to you back then and telling you they want to marry you, why were you not bold enough to tell them that if truly you want to marry me, go and see my parents. But this time around, they will tell you if you truly want to marry me, go and see my parents and they can go to the stand of taking the man to see uh, their parents. Now, the last thing I'm talking about is that I can't do anything with you without my parents' consent. At this time, they are very, very careful when it comes to sex. At this time, no woman would want to open freely for a man to have sex with her. So, during this time, if you are a man and want to um, have a sexual intercourse with the woman, the woman will tell you that I can't do anything. I can't have sex with you without um, uh, you going to see my parents for us to do um, the right thing. But you see, dear parents, they have started knowing your wealth. You see, um, when she was 18 to 24, she was doing everything without considering parents. Now, this same lady telling you, go and see my parents, go and do this, go and do that. When they were at their peak, between the age of 18 to 24, they were doing everything without considering parents. But this time around, when you want to even kiss her, hey, me, no kissing, no, no touching, no go and see my parents first so you expect a young man of 27 to 30 to marry you of 30 to 35 as a housewife when there are younger pretty girls out there so when it, it, it gets to that point men begin to think and they don't want to go and marry a lady who is 30 to 35 to 34 as a housewife or as a wife when there are younger pretty girls out there so they would want to go in for those people. Even if he chooses to ignore your age and marry you, his family and friends would discriminate you. I'm telling you, if a man decides that, okay, let me put the age aside and marry this um, beautiful lady and move on with the lady, families and friends will discriminate. Oh, why have you married this old lady? Why have you... Uh, it becomes so, 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 so serious that it puts a lot of depression on the men who marry some of these ladies. Now, everything in life has its own season and time. There is no lady at age 30 to 35 seeking for marriage who haven't been approached during 18 to 24. And I said this on authority. There is no lady at the age of 30 to 35 seeking for marriage who haven't been approached during 18 to 24. But by then, they were busily jumping from clubs, parties to hotel rooms looking for fun and no marriage. They were looking for fun 
a non marriage now men that will be in yes i, I think I've, 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 I've men that will be interested to marry you will be of maybe 45 years so if you're a lady and you are 30 to 35 and you are still non marriage and marriage has become a problem for you you realize that those who want to get married to you are 45 for they say some even 50 years they want to marry someone who is 30 years so men who will be interested to marry you will be of maybe 45 years and above and in my uh, and mind you those men are married with kids except you want to be um, a second or a third wife so men who are seriously and want to marry you some of them want to even have an um, extra marital affair with you so they are married all right but they want to they will give you promises they'll go and see your parents and give them money and then uh, make you believe that yes they are going to marry you and at the end of the day you'll get to know that the person is married some people will not even tell you that they are married but um later on you are going to discover that oh this man i'm dating is married though and then it becomes a broken heart for most ladies um in wrapping up uh, not everything is about prayer I'm a Christian and I believe God. Not everything is about prayer. God who created you has made you. Or God who created you and I has made a plan for you and I. The God we save has made a plan for you and I. But when you change the plan or miss the road, please don't disturb the peace of God. A lot of people, God has plans for you. God has brought men who were going to be good husbands and help you build your future and become somebody in future. But at the end of the day, you turn them down. And when you change the plan or you miss the road, please don't blame God or don't disturb the peace of God because he will be busy planning for other young girls. So when the opportunity comes, make sure that you grab it and then you pray about it. You do your thorough check. Don't go like, I'm not ready. Now, why do we have high rates of single mothers and single ladies? It's as a result of some of these things. Does it mean that there are no men but only boys? No. There are a lot of men. They are, as I told you, 45 and above. They will have sex with you impregnate you you have a child for them and that's all they will never come to marry you so there are a lot of um single mothers out there across the world there are a lot of them now thousands of working class ladies are out there confirmed singles a lot of women and a lot of ladies they have their phd they have their masters they they have their doctorate degrees and a lot of them most of them are single your masters of phd is zero without a husband yes education is key but don't neglect a marriage proposal all in the name of your studies never reject or neglect a marriage proposal all in the name of your studies both of you are matured enough to wait if you are serious of getting married if a man approaches you and you are serious to marry the man and you realize that this man is good, the man has a good character, please, please, grab the man. Introduce the person to your family. Know his family. Get to know each other very well. And do your own thing. Doing your own thing means that plan about marriage, put things together, think about it, do something don't it, it's, it's not about getting uh, or organizing a big wedding event but you can do something within your means thanks so much for watching my video um i know you've learned a lot i know you've enjoyed um being with me i please i'll urge you to go on to um uh, here here yes go on to um, subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be so excited to hear from you so please hit the subscribe button i'll be so excited to hear from you drop your comments i'll be coming up with a lot of um, videos on my channel so please go ahead subscribe to my youtube channel you can follow me on instagram yes you can follow me on instagram and all my social media handle um my social media handle is bra underscore emmanuel bra underscore Emmanuel when you um, send me bra underscore or you search for at bra underscore Emmanuel on Instagram on Twitter and then on um, uh, I'm also on uh, TikTok so you can just follow me there let's vibe let's talk about so many things that will help profit us so I think uh, I've dropped my um, uh, handle on screen right now is bra underscore Emmanuel 
bra underscore imano make sure you hit me up follow me on my instagram and there is a lot to talk about on my instagram on my twitter account on on my tiktok everywhere bra underscore imano please share like this video and please subscribe to this channel till we meet same time another time bye bye